Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna share with you today three appetizer recipes using crescent rolls. So it is the time of year for appetizers. There is so many holiday parties. If you are like our family, we do football Sundays. So lots and lots of snack time right now. So I love making appetizers. So I'm gonna show you these three awesome crescent roll appetizers. I have one with cream cheese, uh, one with brie, one with spinach artichoke dip. So they are all delicious. I'm gonna get them all made up for you. Hope that you're having a really wonderful day and hope that you enjoy these crescent roll appetizers. So I have my crescent rolls and I'm gonna use my little mini muffin pan for a couple of these recipes. Um, so I'm gonna unroll the crescent roll dough and um, flatten it out. I'm going to kind of pinch the seams together to make it nice and flat. Um, but Pillsbury dough, or I'm actually using the Great Value brand kind today, but the Crescent Roll dough is so versatile. You can do so many things with it. Um, I always have to make sure we have some in the fridge because we use it all the time. So I'm just gonna just pinch the seams together to make it nice and flat. Uh, Pillsbury makes a flat dough, so you don't have to pinch the seams together, but um, I just get this regular crescent roll one. And so I'm going to use my pizza cutter to cut nice straight lines. It makes it really easy using a pizza cutter. But I make some squares that I will put into my little mini muffin tin. So once everything is all um, into the muffin tin, I'm gonna add in a scoop of the spinach artichoke dip, which this is my favorite. It's a jalapeno spinach artichoke dip. It has so much flavor. It's absolutely delicious, perfect for dips. Um, I add it into all kinds of different things. I've done a stuffed chicken with this dip and it is just awesome. So um, definitely love this dip, but it goes really, really good um, putting um, a dollop of it into the center of these crescent roll dough pieces. Just a really awesome appetizer. And I just love finger foods. They are, I have a weakness for them for sure. So the holidays are definitely dangerous when there's so many functions with awesome finger foods and appetizers. So these uh, crescent roll ones are super easy. I hope that you enjoyed them. Hope that you make a couple of these because they are always a huge hit when I make them and can't go wrong with super easy uh, appetizers also. So you don't have to spend a ton of time in the kitchen making these and you'll definitely get your guests will definitely love these. The next one I'm gonna make is with brie and jelly, and this is a raspberry jelly. So I'm gonna do the same thing with my uh, crescent roll dough. I'm gonna flatten it out and uh, pinch all the seams together to make it nice and flat, and then I'm going to cut it in pieces as well. But this time I'm going to um, put them onto my baking sheet, and I have my baking mat that I just love because it makes cleanup so super easy. Nothing sticks to it, which is just awesome, and I love anything that's easy cleanup. So I am going to uh, cut the dough into the little squares, and then I'm going to add in a little piece of brie, um, a dollop of jelly, and then I'm going to make these into balls. Um, so they're really, really good and delicious with the combination of the brie and the jelly with like the sweetness and then with the cheese, definitely a good combo. So I'm gonna cut the rind off of 
around the edges of the brie before I put it into the little crescent roll ball. Um, I just don't like the tough part of the, the rind, so I'm just going to cut that part off. So you can really use any kind of jelly you want if you want to do like a strawberry jelly, but this is a raspberry preserve um, and it's just nice and smooth with just some seeds and this is the jelly that my husband loves for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So definitely always have some of this on hand and it is really good, like I said, with the combination with the brie in these Pillsbury um, crescent roll dough. It makes it just a really awesome appetizer, just a bite size um, little ball full of deliciousness. So I'm gonna roll the, or I'm gonna make these into the ball. So I'm gonna bring up the sides and I'm gonna pinch everything together to seal it up. Once they are all into their little ball shape, I'm gonna brush them with some egg wash and then put these in the oven. They'll take about nine minutes. Um, same as the other appetizers. All of these take about nine minutes to cook in the oven at 350. So just a little brush of the egg wash and um, it just gives these, it makes them like nice and a little bit more brown and just really good. These are also a really good like brunch item as well. I mean, definitely really great for brunch. So the next appetizer I'm gonna make with the crescent roll dough is gonna be with cream cheese and jalapeno pepper jelly. So jalapeno pepper jelly, it is not spicy at all. It's actually pretty sweet. It does have a little kick to it, but it is such a perfect combo with cream cheese. It is one of my favorite like appetizers. We do this one like cold a lot. You just do a brick of cream cheese and you put on the pepper jelly on top of it and then you serve it with um, Ritz crackers or wheat thins and it's really good. Such a good combo. But I'm going to add the cream cheese and the jalapeno pepper jelly into this crescent roll dough. It'll be so, so good. And I'm using my mini muffin pan again to form these into little bite-sized cups. And like I mentioned um, with the other appetizer, just bite-sized little appetizers are so fun, so perfect for the holidays, for um, cocktail parties that you're having. And there's just so many functions going on around the holidays. And definitely can't go wrong with having delicious appetizers to serve to your guests.
All right, so these three Pillsbury Crescent Roll appetizer recipes, they're all done. They are all so delicious and super easy. I have tons of appetizer uh, videos on my channel. I will put a link to my last one with all my Christmas appetizers right here on the side. I hope that you enjoyed these. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe. Hope you're having a wonderful holiday season and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.